How to make long fingerless gloves. It's an intermediate level pattern. You will need a small circular loom of 24 pegs, a skein of yarn, a looming hook, and a crochet hook. This is what the look of the glove will be. This is a good for uh, steampunk, travel style, belly dancing, but this is where we will start first and that's where we'll finish. Um, the, you'll notice that the uh, closed part will make sure that there's a snugger fit at the wrist, giving it a nice sleek pattern, and that the pattern has a netted pattern. Um, so let's get started. We're going to start at the base, beginning at the base of the glove. And what you want to do is you want to cast on by e wrapping 24 pegs. Pretty simple beginning. Okay, start with a toss over knit. Sometimes pulling over the second peg helps make it easier to um, pulling over the first peg. It's kind of tight doing it this way first, but it's the easiest knit that's that's a tighter um, knit pattern. But push down all your loops to prep for your knitting. Now knit 22 pegs all the way back around to where you started. Back to your starting point. Now purl all 24 pegs. Um, if you're not used to purling on looms, there um, there are plenty of YouTube channels that um, they'll provide how to actually purl on a um, looming system. But this kind of gives you an idea. Now you can loosen up your holding peg because you've completed a couple of rows. Go ahead and push down all your pegs and everything and let's start on the next row. Now knit 24 pegs all the way around to your starting point. This will go fairly quickly. Now you need to purl 24 pegs for three rows. Um, do remember we're working in a circular um, pattern here and that will um, continue for quite a while until we work on the thumb and when you get to the thumb it'll end up being um, working on as a flat pattern. Now it's time to add an open the open spots, the netted spots in the glove at the bottom um, but you're only going to get you know little holes but skip your first peg and e-wrap your second peg. Lift off and put on the first peg, pull the bottom Pull the bottom one over, then pull it around the front, toss it over, and then you want to actually purl the next three pegs. But always skip when you want to create the hole. You always want to skip your first peg and then place it on the peg you skipped and then toss it over and then bring the yarn around to the front and toss the bottom loop over and of course purl three more pegs. We're still working on the base of the glove. You kind of get the idea of how the pattern works. You're going to be doing this um, hole, creating a hole a lot more once you get to the actual um, meat part of the glove and that's where you'll um, kind of get used to how it feels to create the hole. Now purl 24 pegs for three rows and this should pretty much finish off the um, the actual real base, the first band of the glove. And you'll have completed the bottom design and are ready to start on the arm of the glove, which is the meat of it. This is what the bottom of the glove looks like and should look like. You'll see the hole. Now 
Now we're going to start um, working the three row pattern to create the netted design that you just saw. Skip peg 1 and e-wrap peg 2, place peg 2 onto peg 1 and lift bottom loop over the top. Just like you did to create the hole in um, the actual base. Now lay yarn over peg 1 and knit, lay yarn over peg 2 and knit 3 and 4. So you're going to do that hole pattern, which you'll see. And then you're going to do the toss over knit for two. And you should create, and you should be able, you should do this five more times um, until you get back down to your starting point. It's a total of six of the um, of the actual pattern. It should be. And then once you get around back around to the beginning. You're going to do a real simple knit 24 pegs for two rows. We're still working in a circle pattern. But don't forget where your starting point is. Um, it's, it's important in this pattern because you will eventually get a new starting point when you start on the thumb. But repeat those three rows nine more times and that completes the, the the arm of the glove and that's what it should look like now let's start shaping the wrist of the glove this can be somewhat of a conscious effort because you want it to fit and so you want it to have that smoother sleeker look so now we're going to start working on um, closing that area in and, and you're going to find your starting points. Um, this will leave you working with the netted pattern for four times around total rather than six times around. But start by knitting eight pegs in. Make sure you count out the eight pegs if you get if you get messed up and forget, like I do tend to do. Um, but now start your netting pattern again over um, the next four pegs for four times around. Naturally, you skip the first peg, and so continue this pattern for um, four times, and it should take you back around to your starting point. And so I kind of let this go um, when I, I do this kind of row. I, I try to let y'all see all the way around so that y'all have a, a better understanding. Um, you're fixing to close in the uh, netted pattern, so um, knit the last four. And now you've kind of gotten your base. So you can do a kind of a guideline looking inside, but now you want to knit 24 um, pegs for two rows. And that should go pretty quickly. I do tend to like this toss over knit. It's tighter. It goes faster. Um, that kind of thing. So do the last three rows um, you just did three more times. And that should complete your wrist. Um, there's your wrist area. That's what it should look like. Now let's begin working.